Before we start off today's episode, I did mention something about turning on fast and slow animations for the end of the Cradle mission. So here are those two. And now that that's taken care of, hello guys, this is Universal Giant, welcome back for more GoldenEye! Last time, we beat Cradle and killed Trevelyan! Today, I'm going to be showing off two of the funnier, but have the least amount of impact on the actual difficulty of the game in the secret mission that we unlock for clearing all missions on Secret Agent Mode. Aztec! Reprogram shuttle guidance and launch shuttle. The Drax Corporation continues to be involved in unlicensed space exploration. Many of their projects are of a military nature and constitute a threat to the New World political order. The Drax launch facility is located in South American Aztec ruin. They're scheduled to launch a stolen NASA shuttle with an unknown military payload. We're sending you in alone, 007. Penetrating the base security will be tricky, but once you're in, we believe you'll be able to recover the shuttle right from under their noses. Simple plan, 007. Reprogram the guidance computer with the information on this floppy. What's a floppy? Then we can take control as soon as the old girl reaches orbit. Now pay attention, one thing we don't know is the Drax launch protocol. You'll have to find that data and install it to initiate the launch. Can't be too difficult to spot, it'll be lying around in some high security area. You have no idea. Kets... Ket... Quetzalcoat ring any bells, James? No, I didn't think so. Did you honestly expect me to be able to figure out what that is? How to pronounce it? Don't even expect me to pronounce how to... Forget it. So DK mode! Everybody's got giant heads! And I've also turned on paintball mode, which is exactly what you think it is. And I normally kill that guy with that one shot. So, yeah. You get a much better look at everybody's heads, and all the guns are bigger! But Aztec! One of the hidden missions in the game. It is... As difficult as you would expect it to be for a hidden mission in the game, I'm going to be playing this one much more cautiously than I have been, just out of necessity. But DK Mode also blows up the size of their guns, which is really helpful in terms of being able to see where the ammo is on the floor, because I kind of need it in the beginning of this mission. But I also love Paintball Mode, and you may remember how much I loved Rainbow Blood and Jet Force Gemini. I love Paintball Mode! It just makes everything look pretty. It makes me want to spray the entire level with bullets. But I don't have that much to spare yet, at least until we get the secret weapon, which isn't really a secret weapon in this level. It's more like a level-exclusive weapon. So there's a dude over there, there's a dude over here, and there are a couple of dudes that sometimes come out, but don't always come out. There's that guy, he's not dead yet. There's that guy, and there's a third guy. So, I don't know if I've actually played this mission before practicing for it yesterday, considering how little I remembered about it yesterday. It was kind of sad that it looked like I'd never seen this freaking place before. I mean, you look at this entire area, you remember it. If you've ever seen this mission before, you don't forget it. And in there is actually the thing that we need to access that we can't access yet to reprogram the guidance or whatever it is. But the thing is, if you've never done it before, it's pretty freaking hard to remember what the hell you're supposed to do. That said, though, Aztec is legitimately difficult if you've never seen it before. So let's lure out those two guys. For instance, this is the exhaust bay for the shuttle. If you don't know to blow those up and escape before that comes in to explode on you, you're probably going to die. So there are two drone guns over here and usually a dude over there. And also body armor, which I desperately need. But yeah, if you stay in there too long, Big explosion kills you. 
nice fun little surprise for anyone who's never played it before. But yeah, you can see this entire level can be sprayed with bullets and they look like paintballs and it's kind of awesome. But I like to stick with the assault rifle, at least in the beginning, because it is more powerful than the laser, even though the laser is infinite ammo. And I'd also like to destroy these if possible, because those things are a big pain in the butt. And these guys have lasers, and I didn't destroy that thing. I thought I did. Okay, I guess I didn't. Somebody is still shooting me! Did I not destroy that either? Yes, I did. What the hell was going on? I thought it destroyed you guys. So, I only got one laser. I guess I'll be sticking with this for longer than I thought I would. But we still need the DAT tape, which is all the way down here with somebody who we're not exactly looking forward to meeting. You can go in that way, it more often than not gets me killed, and I don't know if I've picked up a grenade yet. Now, sometimes I pick up a grenade at this point, so let's just get somebody's attention and run all the way back here so we have a better position on him when he happens to come by. So the dude that we're looking for is none other than Jaws. Jaws will kill you if you are not prepared for him. I'm hoping he doesn't take all that long to get here because I guarantee he is coming after me. I just hope it doesn't take a year and a half for him to get here. Here, Jawsy, 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 here, Jawsy, no. There he is. See him? I see him. It's kind of funny that he's just, like, waiting out there. He usually comes up and chases me. Wow. Really, Jaws? Okay. He drops the tape that we need, and I'm usually too low on health to consider exploring the rest of this place. But I think I have enough health left that I can probably chance it in before he dies. So we'll see. I usually don't have nearly enough health at this point to even consider exploring the rest of this place, so I haven't really seen it. But now we have the double laser! I thought we had a double laser, don't we? Or was that the first time I picked up... Uh, it doesn't matter. Hi, guys! So yeah, the assault rifle is actually more powerful than the laser. So, you may want to consider using that on Jaws. I found it's best to try to shoot him in the chest, or if you have DK mode on, you'll just wind up shooting him in the head regardless of what you try to do. I just hope that there aren't any drone guns or something to try to kill me when I get in here. But yeah, the DK mode, the giant heads, it's really freaking cool, I think. And I think up there is the bridge to the first room that we went through, and if I'm not mistaken, there is body armor or something down here, but I haven't been down here in the longest time, so yeah, paintball mode! I guess there really wasn't anything down here. Are you still shooting me? I'm hoping I can show off the double lasers. Double lasers are kind of cool. Yeah, so we got the second one. These things, the Moonraker laser, exclusive to this level. Unlimited ammunition, and now I can spray the entire wall with paintballs, and it's going to look like the greatest work of art you've ever seen, and it's so pretty, and hi guy, how you doing? My auto-aim is distracting me from the wall. But yeah, there are only so many bullet holes that you're allowed to have in memory at any given time, so once you've reached that limit, the other ones start disappearing. So it's not permanent, and you can't make the biggest wall of paint in the world, but... It's there if you want it. So now that we've taken care of getting the tape, we can head all the way back up to the beginning. And there are probably some dudes out here. It doesn't look like there are. Now, the door behind us in the exhaust bay back there are closed. So we have to come all the way back up here and open it again. And this is kind of what I mean when I say, even if you've seen this level before, you don't really think about all the stuff that you need to do, or the order you need to do it in, because it's kind of tedious. That you have to remember you gotta open the exhaust bay, close the exhaust bay, open it again, go back to this area with this thing, open up this. If you've never seen it before, it's kind of easy to forget what to do. But I think all three difficulties have the same missions. So let's open this up now that we have the key for it, and now access our inventory, which should have the guidance thingy in it. 
So we have guidance data. The security smart card is what let us in. Use it on this thing. That's objective A completed. Now we have to go back and actually launch the shuttle now that it's going to do what we want it to do. But yeah, the door in here would be closed if you didn't open or didn't reclose the exhaust bay. So you gotta remember to do that. Now we're gonna have to remember to close it. Although I don't think it matters the order that we do this in. I usually go over here to put in the DAT tape. I think I got it in the other room. Did I forget to pick it up in the other room? You know, I... I remember. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. You always forget to do the simplest things. Now I'm going all the way back into that room to get the tape, which I need in order to use on that thing, in order to do the stuff. It, it, it's just really easy to remember what you need to do, because if you overlook using something somewhere, like all I had to do was pick that up. But really, the difficulty in this level is just figuring out what to do, and if you don't have a walkthrough, it's probably going to be trial and error. Which is never something I've been a big fan of, but... This game is old enough where I feel... You have the option available to you if you legitimately can't figure out what to do, there's no shame in looking it up. So we got this, use it on this, and now the shuttle's going to launch, but in order for it to launch, we have to open up that exhaust bay. Otherwise, the timer's going to stop at 10 seconds, and because it's going to take longer than 20 seconds for us to get up here and for this to open, it's going to freeze at that 10 second mark. So we just have to stay alive until we're able to launch, and sometimes these guys will fire through the floor, or come up the ladder, and it's stopping at 10 seconds. So now we can just make the entire place all pretty looking. I can just hold down the Z button and shoot anybody as they come in and it looks so pretty. I mean, look at all the pretty colors we're making. They're going to love us for redecorating and it's going to be great. And we were even able to launch a shuttle into space to boot. And that does it for Aztec. Now, before I forget, let me turn off the cheats, because reasons, I guess. I really don't have a reason to turn them off. But Egyptian, the level that we unlock for beating everything on Double O Agent. Recover the Golden Gun and defeat Baron Samedi? Why is that a question mark? This doesn't fill me with hope. Scaramanga has passed into legend as the deadliest assassin of all time. The current whereabouts of this golden gun are unknown. This is Sinister 007. We've recovered a message from someone claiming to be Baron Samedi, the voodoo sorcerer you crossed swords with back in Haiti. He claims to have the golden gun and wants to meet you in the ancient El Sakira temple in the Valley of the Kings. Obviously it's a trap, but as a 00 agent you know how that goes with the territory. Keep your wits about you 007. Remember this golden gun is a powerful weapon. Perhaps it could even defeat Samedi. Do you do voodoo, James? Who do that voodoo? You do? Egyptian. The 20th and final level. Oh boy. So you start off with your PP7, and it, it looks all nifty, I guess. I see a dude over there. I kind of want to kill him, but as soon as I alert anyone to my presence, we're going to be in trouble. So yeah, as you can imagine, you don't have very much health to spare in here either. I'm actually surprised I didn't alert the other guys in the other room. But yeah, as you can tell, I am a little bit more careful in these levels than I have been in the recent past, because they're more difficult. So up until now, I've kind of been playing it easy, not really giving a damn about anything, and I can't really afford to do that right now, at least not yet. But now we have the double ZMGs, which are... Eh, they're kind of nifty. See if I can bring anybody out here, because they're just going to ambush me if I go in there, running in guns a-blazing. And of course, these guys will eventually start respawning, so you don't exactly want to dawdle for too long. I just want to make sure that I'm not ambushed or surprised or anything. But what we're looking for now is the golden gun. And this wonderful piece of weaponry 
is a one-hit kill, and Baron Samedi, how you doing? I can't kill you right now. Or can I? <laughs> yeah, he, he's gonna do that a little bit. I hope it doesn't actually scare anybody. So it's gonna look like we're killing him. I don't think we're actually doing anything. We're still looking for that golden gun, which is up here! And this is where things get tricky. This door will lock behind you. And once you get in here, you have to make sure you step on the tiles in this correct order. So you come in, you go two to the left, two up, three to the right, one, two, three, two up, one left, one up, one left, Two up, and one right. That will grant you access to the golden gun. If you do not do it correctly, machine guns will pop out from all of those places and kill you. If you survive, I don't know if you have access to get the golden gun again. So make sure you remember that pattern. Of course, I had a map open, because who's going to remember that? Seriously. I've also had some times when the guns would shoot me from under the floor even after I got the thing correct. So I'm not really sure how that works. And also remember to grab the ammunition, because you're only going to have one bullet otherwise. Now we have the golden gun! Kills people in one shot! Really, really convenient! And it automatically reloads for you, because you only have one shot in the magazine, and once you use it, it's gone. So now it's a matter of finding Baron Samedi. Now this guy can spawn in a number of different places, We've already seen him spawn twice, which is... Uh... Oh, there you are. Hi, guy! Yeah, I don't think it auto-targets him, either. So we've shot him once with the golden gun. We gotta get him... Well, we gotta get him a couple more times, I think. I think we only need to get him a couple more times, but yeah, it's dark, so you can barely see where you're going. In fact, he might be behind me, and I can't even see him, because it's too freaking dark. It's your own damn fault, Samedi. If I could see where the hell I was going, it, this wouldn't be so difficult. Because I'd know where you were, and I'd be able to shoot you, and it'd be all fun, and wow, is it really dark. Do you guys mind not shooting me? I'm kind of looking for a dude who's supposedly invincible, trying to kill him. Because clearly, this is going to be the easiest way to do things, and it still looks kind of light outside. I mean, not middle of the day beautiful light and everything light but it's still kind of bright outside it's difficult to understand why it would be so dark in this place because it's not that dark but yeah i know it's not samedi if my gun is auto targeting because it doesn't auto target samedi at least i hope i'm pronouncing his name correctly where the hell is that guy anyway because I thought I've been to every room where he spawns, but obviously that's not the case. Is he over to the right somewhere? Is there somewhere over there I haven't seen yet? There's this thing. Oh yeah, this thing! I don't like this place. I'll see if I can just run through here, because there are the machine guns up there, the drone guns, that will shoot you! If you stay there too s long. And there's this thing! Do you mind not shooting me? Oh, hey. More body armor. That's usually the last place I find him. I... Huh. I guess the first two times I killed him counted? That's strange. I always have to shoot him three times with the golden gun. Oh, well. Aaron Samedi defeated, and James Bond walks out of the temple like a badass. Or was he defeated? <laughs> Creepy laugh! Everyone loves it. The top hat and everything. <laughs> but that's Egyptian! And that's all 20 levels in GoldenEye 007 for the N64. This is Universal Giant, and I'll see you guys next mission.